What are pastel pencils and how do we use them as a medium? Let's find out in my review of the Stabilo Carbothello 36 set. Well, they are basically soft pastels inside of a wooden casing that's in a shape of a familiar colored pencil to us. But the medium is pretty different from what we're used to when we use colored pencils. So I bought the 36 set of Carbothellos from Art Bar here in Baguio City. And these 30 pastel pencils cost me 2,345 pesos, which if we put that into US dollars, that's somewhere between 40, if I'm not mistaken, between 40 to 50 US dollars, or around um, 38 to, um, to 46 um, euros. I'm not sure with the conversion rate as of now, but yeah. Um, I'll put links down below for those who are keen on picking this up from Lazada, Shopee, and or Jackson's so that it'd be much easier for you. So the tin of the Carbotello feels okay. It feels standard. Nothing much different from the Derwent tins. But this time, compared to the Derwents, um, the Stabilo ones are um, hinged. And then on the inside... You have here now the colored pencils laid down and it was covered by this tissue paper probably to um, protect the pencils when they're in transit but I don't know how much this would help but nevertheless I'm keeping it inside the tin just so that um, it could catch some of the dust. Okay, So it's my first time opening this set while filming this video and as of now the pastel pencils feel like they have the same width as that of most um colored pencils that I use. Take note that these are pastel pencils and I was expecting more of a um, thick and hefty core similar now to some charcoal pencils. This is a charcoal pencil from Castle Art which um, this is what I was expecting from these Carbotellos, this amount of thickness. So um, I'm not disappointed at it, it's just that it wasn't what I was expecting. Let's do some comparisons with um, probably some of you have the Brot Funers and they have almost the same um, diameter as you can see but the good thing about these are that it's capped so I think it's it adds to the protection of the pastel that's inside of the wooden casing okay so I think the core is around 3.5 millimeters so you get a decent amount of product on it within the pencil you have here now the logo of Stabilo um, the product name which is Carbotello then you have here now a code and a rating of its light fastness and then if you rotate the pencil around, you have here now the barcode for the pencil since these pencils are also sold open stock. Unfortunately for my folks living here in Baguio City, um, Art Bar and other um, art stores do not yet sell these open stock. But I believe in other places outside the Philippines and in bigger cities um, with bigger malls in Metro Manila here in the Philippines, they could pick these up open stock. The color selection for this 36 palette is absolutely excellent if you're just starting out. It has um, a splash of all of the realms of color choices that you would want to immerse in. Like, if you like earthy tones and natural tones, you have them here. If you like the bright, punchy colors, you have them here. If you're more into landscapes, if you're more into seascapes, those are greatly represented by this 36 set. So, um, if you ask me what set should you start in, um, try to invest more and go for the 36 set rather than the 24 set of pastel pencils. And I think that goes the same for colored pencils as well well as um, um, pastel sticks, oil pastels, okay? um, any solid non-mixable um, coloring medium. I think it's best if you get the 36 set to start with rather than the um, 34 sets. I'm swatching these pencils in a mixed media journal from Tokyo Finds and I'm going to swatch it on its rougher textured paper. Um, the, te the tooth and the texture is not as pronounced as a sanded surface, but I think um, swatching them here would give us an idea of how they will perform and um, more over than its performance, its colors to how it will um, lay down on paper.
Okay, I'm so sorry I had to like just scream into a pillow for a short while because I tried to sharpen it using two sharpeners and it made my head hurt. So right now I'm trying a um a cutter to try to, you know, at least expose some of its lead. Huh. I think I understand why people say it's frustrating to use pastel pencils because the breakage is just mm, that's like already 150 peso worth of lead that's broken. I can't bear to lose much more of it. So I want to watch more of Joseph Morgan's um, um, YouTube videos to how he sharpens his carbocello because um, he mentioned in one of the videos that I watched that um, he uses a, a handheld sharpener and I just can't with that. You know, I can't handle breakage of products, especially if they're not that cheap. It may not be Karen Dosh expensive, but you know, I would not want to waste much of these, um, much of the pencil, especially considering that, um, you know, you can't buy it open stock where I am. So, so one tip, if I think you want to use, um, these pencils, I guess you can start each session by sharpening the pencils that you're going to use, um, rather than, you know, use it as is and then suddenly it not being enough and then it's going to take you hours to, um, peel off the wood from the pastel pencils yeah it's gonna take time if you do that so um it's best that you start your session with um already sharpening your pencils Alrighty, so i worked on this sparrow that i've done initially with pan pastels and the carbothello pencils go pretty well with the pan pastels in making those details and putting on and punching in some more colors. One great advantage of using pastel pencils is that you could actually layer lights over dark as long as you thin out the underlying layer. Overall, my verdict for these pencils, they're a good medium to work your way into if you are already familiar with drawing, but I don't recommend this if you don't have yet a background in painting or drawing. It's not the best medium to start with. Now regarding the Stabilo pastel pencils, I enjoyed using them. The color selection was great. I have my beloved earth tones that I like using with my animal portraits. And the colors are pretty vibrant and bright. And aside from the sharpening issue that I had, which just goes with the medium, the pencils are great quality and I highly recommend them. Thank you so much for considering watching my review and first impressions. Take care and have a great day ahead. Peace.